the inspiration was the soldier with these American flag wings that came out to go across the whole wall. And the idea of doing a memorial to some of the fallen officers um, was the priority. Anyone that drives through Green Cove Springs gets to see that wall and is able to enjoy its beauty. The idea of the uh, mural um, to dedicate it to its fallen officers, I love the fact that they wanted to honor Ben on that. And you hear H uh, HQ calling for Ben, no answer, no answer. And at about that time when somebody said there was a motor down. He hit the trailer that the truck was pulling head on. We, uh, we did what we were supposed to do. When I first saw him on the wall, I was amazed. I got chills. I just couldn't believe that someone cared so much to do something so beautiful and so awesome to remember first responders. And, uh, and we found the guy. Ultimately, he was bit and uh, apprehended. And it was a great feeling. We were married for 21 years before he passed away from occupational cancer. He had stage four stomach cancer and it was a very sad time. Every time I was with him, I wanted to do everything with him instead of other friends or family. I, I got to spend a lot of time with him while he was sick. Uh, yeah, I, I'm glad I got to have him while I did. The day before Thanksgiving, he took his last breath. In many ways, uh, this has been part of the healing process for the members of our agency uh, having this beautiful uh, tribute uh, right here near our headquarters. I just felt honored to um, paint the fallen. That's what I do for a living. For 30 years, I've been painting memorial portraits. That whole process of going from the original concept on paper to gridding it up on a wall this size and watching the whole thing come to fruition as a reality uh, is, is so exciting.